Sleep roll. Bang, bang, bang. In one of the most anticipated and controversial boxing matchups of the decade, the legendary Mike Tyson is set to face off against YouTube sensation turned boxer Jake Paul. So many people, even the Saudi chief, got on social media and said, Mike, forget the script. Beat this guy. What do you say? Tell these people who keep saying that this fight is scripted. Well, just come to the fight and you'll see. Listen, listen, I started Jake off and I'm going to finish him. Building and at the latest press conference, things got heated. Let's dive into the drama. The press conference was wild, with both fighters exchanging verbal jabs before their big fight. Since the announcement, many in the boxing world have been skeptical, questioning if it would be a real fight, but Tyson and Paul made it clear that this is as real as it gets. How do you respond to people who are critical about this fight taking place in the first place at all because of your differences, particularly your age? Well, I don't see too many people critical about it. Look at this. Excuse me? Critics, you know, people who? in the industry. Tell me who. Name us somebody. Folks. You? Who? <laughs> no. Folks who say it. Tyson isn't here for the doubter. He's been training hard for months, sharing countless videos of his intense workouts that have racked up millions of views. Tyson's determination is clear, and he's ready to prove that he's still a force to be reckoned with. Jake, you say you want to be a serious boxer, and you want to be a contender and be a title holder. So then, when, at some, it, in, when in your career are you going to actually fight a contender in your weight class and not do gimmick fights? I think he just called Mike Tyson a gimmick. Mike Tyson's 58 years old or will be at the time of the fight. Yes. So as much as I respect him? Mike Tyson will you and fight his. Him? What did you just call me will again? I didn't him? call you anything. What did you call me? I didn't call you anything. Despite the skepticism, Paul insists he's serious about his boxing career. Both fighters were asked what makes them confident about their chances on July 20th. Tyson's response is pure gold. He's not going to win. Nigga, he can't even knock out Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz is 40 pounds. Confidence is high on both sides, but Tyson's age remains a talking point. Paul, just 27 years old, has a significant youth advantage, but Iron Mike doesn't care. Fat. He should be lean and mean. He's fat and funky. I saw him with his shirt off the other day. He's fat. Hey, Buster Douglas was fat, am I right? I know, but you're no Buster Douglas. <laughs> I'm better. I'm you're, better. No, and I'm going to end you quicker than he did. And, and you'll remember that forever. Paul remains unfazed, insisting he's ready to shock the world. It's on July 20th, Mike will be put to sleep, and he will feel my power. And I will go down as the man who put Tyson to sleep for the last time. With over 200 million viewers expected to tune in at a packed AT&T stadium, the stakes couldn't be higher. Tyson guarantees one thing. Listen, we're here. We did enough talk and I'm ready to fight. The boxing world is divided. Some, like former coach Teddy Atlas, believe in Tyson's power despite his age. First of all, he's actually fighting a guy who finally, I know he's, he's much older than him, but is naturally the bigger guy. Others, like NBA star Gilbert Arenas, worry for Paul's safety. Oh, Mike Tyson, he's trying to punch them to the back of your head. <laughs> so basically, every time he punched at the face, he got to basically stop his punch. With both fighters promising a knockout, the world waits in anticipation to see if youth and bravado will overcome legendary experience and power. Mike Tyson has canceled his upcoming fight against Jake Paul. The reason is simple. Tyson realized his body couldn't handle the strain anymore, and the thought of fighting Jake, who trains hard every day, now scares him. Tyson admitted that if I were to fight, it would have to be someone who wasn't younger. He's basically looking for a replacement because he knows he can't keep up with the youthful energy and rigorous training that come with boxing today. Apparently, Mike Tyson is using a recent medical scare as an excuse to cancel the fight with Jake Paul. Tyson has been talking about having an ulcer flare up, but the doctor who examined him says he is in good condition to fight. According to the doctor, Tyson is just making this up to avoid the fight.
Tyson is claiming that his ulcers are acting up and he needs to focus on his well-being. He even shared some concerns about his health in interviews, trying to justify why the fight might need to be postponed or cancelled. Unfortunately, due to my ulcer flare-up, I have been advised by my doctor to lighten my training for a few weeks to rest and recover. My body is in better overall shape than it has been since the 1990s. Jake Paul couldn't believe his ears when he heard about Tyson's supposed health issues. He had always looked up to Mike Tyson as a fearless fighter who would take on any challenge, no matter the odds. Seeing his idol potentially back out of their fight was a huge letdown. I've trained so hard for this, Jake continued. I was ready to face one of the greatest fighters of all time. I respected him because he never backed down from a fight. Now it seems like he's not the same Tyson anymore on X. Jake Paul posted a video sharing his frustration. He talked about how hard he has been training for the fight with Mike Tyson, only to find out it was cancelled for what he believes are made-up reasons. Jake looked genuinely set in the video. Jake went on to describe his intense training regimen. He's been waking up early, spending hours in the gym, and sticking to a strict diet. He's been sparring with top fighters and working with the best trainers to prepare for this match. Of course, this whole situation has gained a lot of reactions from people online, with many poking fun at Jake for wanting to fight someone who is already unhealthy and way past their prime. One person even posted a meme of an old man in a wheelchair, sarcastically saying that Jake Paul's favorite opponents are those who have health issues, and the fun doesn't just end there. Another person commented that with how Jake posted his video on X, it seems like he's pretending to want Tyson to be healthy when he knows Tyson isn't. People online were quick to jump on this point, agreeing that it's not really fair to expect Tyson to be in peak condition at his age. Jake fighting Tyson now is like challenging a tired superhero. Someone joked that he's not invincible anymore. Eventually, the age difference became a hot topic, with many arguing that the fight was never a good idea to begin with. Who do you think will come out on top? Let us know in the comments, and make sure to tune in on July 20th for what promises to be an unforgettable showdown. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates on this epic fight.